Calling all activation three, calling. horizon breaks over the sea, making a noise. It's like a drum, like lots of drums. This is a place where all the holes in our heads go, where time doesn't stop, but comes and goes. It's tangled up like a great cord. It's like a quark while the grass grows downwards. Could be now, could be later. It's a sun the wrong way round, fascinating and unworldly, up and down. I, William Sewell, captain of this loose up has had away, will quell the Loch Ness monster with Rodnum and Cowboy the Wide Whale. I'll be waiting for you, but I won't move from my home. I wouldn't dare. I think I'm going to fall upwards. Tangiers, like all magical places, as homes, places on the ground or in the air that are broken. My friend, I'm very depressed. I 
I can no longer remember how much of a human is myself or if I'm a human or not. The most simple, most elementary, I The most simple problem confusing me. It, it's as if I have forgotten everything I knew before. I have difficulties to make the easiest. A most obvious move. To take the most elementary decision. I'm not expecting anything at all. Anything at all. started to race. I was overcome with memories of patios and stairs. That fabulous place, it existed. And I had discovered it 16 years before. I haven't come to see balls rolling away. Why does Paul live in Tangiers? Because he is balanced between the timeless civilization of the Mediterranean and the nothing without time of the Sahara. That kind of balance attracts him. I was convinced that some parts of the earth were more magical than others. Like other romantics, I had the vague certainty that at some moment in my life, I would arrive in a magical place in which, once I discovered its secrets, I would attain wisdom and ecstasy. My heart was beating. I took out a 25-cent coin and threw it into the air, crying out, 
that it should fall onto my palm. Tales would have meant a bottle of Alomel that same night without a farewell note. But heads, heads meant I would escape to Paris as soon as possible. Jean Genet had been there before. He liked staying in my machal in the Arab part of the city. He liked the gatherings at my place. I like Jane better. She's more broken. You'll find Paul and Jane in Dean's bar or the Café de Paris. Paul less often as he's always travelling. You'll hear about their unusual relationships. They live in separate apartments. Both have same-sex lovers, but are joined in a marriage that neither of them wants to dissolve. They never discuss their situation themselves. Others do it for them. Something that all accept, both they and their friends. There are places you can't cross because you could fall into the sky.
east, west, north, and the south of you, I love to Typewriter. Máquina de escribir. Tangier fascinates me. I'm learning the Tangier dialect. The chalk on the walls reminds me of the face of a street clown that I thought when I was little. I love the harbor quality of Tangier. That mixture of Harab and Andalusian and their sense of humor, black and white. Like the Jews, they spend a lot of time with their families, squabbling and making fun each other and nothing. Dennis. Hello? Brown. Yeah, I'm here. Yesterday. I saw an angel in the cast Yeah. Yeah. It's possible. seconds I'll be another person.
and you're gonna forget everything. Paul is in 10 years, but he's about to leave again, Thailand this time. Mariners sailing close to the shores of Tuscany heard a voice cry out from the hills, the trees, and the sky. The great god Pan is dead. Pan, god of panic. Paul, I'll be ready in five minutes. All streets of the city slope down between canyons to a vast kidney-shaped plaza full of darkness. Walls of a street and plaza are perforated by dwelling cubicles and cafes, some a few feet deep, others extending out of sight in a network of rooms and corridors. At all levels, crisscross of bridges, catwalks, cable cars. During the biannual panics, when the rope pulled the dream police storm the city, the mukbums take refuge in the deepest crevices of the wall, sealing themselves in clay cavicles, and remain for weeks in bioesthesis. In those days of great terror, the reptiles dart about, faster and faster, scream at each other at supersonic speed, their flexible skulls flapping in black winds of insect agony. The dream police disintegrates in globs of rotten ectoplasm, swept away by an old junkie, caffeine and spitting in the sick morning.
He knew he wouldn't be happy because only madman's dreams come true. He knew that he was only interested in once again reproducing his dream, but that also meant becoming the absolute victim of a nightmare. This land is weird. It fascinates and obstructs me at the same time. Tangiers produces creatures, the mixture, the limits of that mixture, the way in which they use each other. That's it. Spiders call him the Munition Blind Sky. Stop to look at windows. Each window has a story. Each little house, its story. Or he's simply a monster.
Brian's green window is Mahal. He never goes out. They just bring so-called lunch, a hard-boiled egg with the shell off, revealing an object like I've never seen before. A very small egg of a yellow-brown color, perhaps laid by the duck-billed platypus. The orange contained a huge worm and very little else. We really got their freestest with the mostest. In Egypt, there is a worm that gets into your kidneys and grows to an enormous size. Ultimately, the kidney is just a thin shell around the worm. Impregnated gourmets steam the flesh of the worm about all over the delicacies. Weather is nice. You know, the city seems to be more and more empty. The 
Green Arrow's been great. Ryan and me have been doing some recordings. 60 boys praying for the rain to come. It's almost like summer. Summer? <laughs> Not really. People of Tangiers don't realize they are living on a cliff edge, on the brink of a confused zone. met Marv in front of the Sargasso with two Arab kids and he said Want to watch these two kids screw each other? Of course. How much? I think they will perform for 50 cents. Hungry, you know? That's the way I like to see them.
I like to think at night when I'm asleep. Sorcery is burrowing its invisible tunnels in every direction, from thousands of cinders to thousands of unsuspecting recipients. Poison is running its course. Spells are being cast. Souls are being dispossessed of parasitic pseudo-consciousness that lurks in the unguarded recesses of the mind. Ira and Rosenthal came to Tangier. They are such charming people, truly naive. What the fuck? Nothing. What is it? Batteries. I have never seen one before. Keep it away from here. I know he is guilty, but I'm not sure why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I ran. Sure. Norman Glass has sued his mother for being a Jew. Hey, Billy, I want you to come to my house right now. You 
have to look with your eyes shut. Gizm thought of it on a past trip. He's like that. Throw the gasoline on them and light it. Quick. White flesh. Mangled the insect screams. I woke up with a taste of metal in my mouth back from the dead. Well, in the colorless death smell of a withered grey monkey phantom twinges of amputation. Jane doesn't write. She lives listening to the familiar sound of Tangiers in the dark the continuous and unstoppable beating of the drums, but it is only in her head.
I have to write, but I cannot write. I'm going. I just finished. Okay, turn it off. Something internal, serious and dangerous, like a terrible rock on the point of exploding. I try to speak with myself, but I can't hear myself. It all with me. And uh, finally, I think it's funny. <laughs> Couples attached to baroque harnesses with artificial wings copulate in the air, screaming like magpies. Aerialists ejaculate each other in space with one sure touch. Equilibrists suck each other off deftly, balanced on perilous poles in charge tilt over the foil. You can expect me to operate in such different standards. Things like that, really, that gives my stuff a time. Everybody's looking at you. Everyone knows that Billy killed his wife. He's on the run, but that's his trait. He's always been running away from himself. He's okay here. He's in limbo, and he can invent all limbos. He's got what it takes to be nobody.
I feel as if I've done everything wrong, absolutely everything. But maybe somehow something good will come out of it. Jane has had a brain hemorrhage. Jane was doing Ramadan, fasting during the day like the Muslims. It seems as if during the afternoon, Sharifa and Jane, or Sharifa and the other servants, had a row about the meal. The argument ended with food being thrown out in fury. Towards five in the evening, furious and totally out of sorts, Jane went to Gordon Saga's house rushed up three flights of stairs to his apartment and asked him for a drink. Several meat eaters lay in vomit. Black meat is like a tender cheese, overpoweringly delicious and nauseating so that the eaters eat and vomit and vomit and eat again until they fall exhausted.
painters use slithering and seize one of the great black claws, sending the sweet, sick smell carrying through the cafe. Sparrows came to Morocco because drugs are cheap and the risk of being caught is much less than in New York or London. And even so, as suspect as his motives are, he falls under the musical spell of Morocco, especially the kind that circulates in secret. summer festivals end in the diplomatic forest where the beach falls like a cataract of fire. Jane is recovering. I've seen a reptile eating itself. And how it ended? It is started again! <laughs> What happened when you came back? What happened when you came back? I 
I saw the things distorted and I couldn't speak. I've been nervous since I was a child. I'm afraid of closed places. I hate the sea. Open spaces. And sometimes I feel a strange compulsion of getting myself into dangerous situations. Since when do you feel this strange compulsion? Since always. I find it hard even to decide on a menu. You say that in the past seven years you have felt very strong pressures inside and over your head? Yes. As if I had the steel bands around it. Czy ci lak nie funkcjonował? Jeszcze nie jogę. Some big dick stick up in your ass. You were not trying to get me. You ain't getting me. No more sex. No more shame. You ain't getting me. Junkie. Mm, junkie so times. Sure as hell it does. You're in every body window. Hmm. You deserve some treatment, Mr. Benway. I know you're weak. You suck me. I shall take you to the surgery table to operate. Geek. Some good leaders have come. You just get away. Well, maybe I'll make a cough myself with your guts. And nothing wrong with you, Mr. Benway. And nothing wrong. Say no evil, or no evil. Speak no evil.
after an overdose of myon that tripod finally rounded with sweet stuff or something like that. I look out from the living room of this villa in the residential part of Tanjus and suddenly I don't know where I am. Maybe I open the brown door and then the proprietor, the owner who arrived there first, was upon me barking. What you doing here? Who are you? I don't know what I'm at or who I am anymore. I read to you from the newspaper. A strange phenomenon has occurred in the firmament of Tangiers. The sky is tinged with shades of green and pink. First it was believed to be a kind of aurora borealis, but scientists are now saying this is impossible in the region. The phenomenon is called photometeor and is caused by the irisation of cirrocumulus and high cumulus clouds constituted from very recently formed particles.
riding saw this Patnik fly over. Must have been glorious. According to Brian, the entire Muslim world is dominated by music. Listen. Jane is better, but she is in her own world, like Paul, who lives in another of his many worlds. I look at my filthy pants that I haven't taken off in months. Days slipping by, anchored to a needle with a large drop of blood. I am forgetting sex and all those kinds of bodily pleasures. I'm a grey dragged out ghost. The speaks call me the invisible man. The invisible man. Twenty push ups every morning. Drag spawn of fat. Leave muscles.
there is only a thing a writer can write about. What he's got facing his senses at the time of writing. I am a recording machine. I don't intend to impose tail, plot, continuity. In so far as I get a direct register of certain areas of the psychic process, maybe I got a precise role to carry out. I don't try to entertain. I'm gonna appease myself. Procession, they call it. Sometimes an entity introduces itself into the body, dubious profiles in orange marmalade, and the hands move to rip the guts from the passing horror, or to strangle a fetus in the hope of doing something about the chronic lack of housing. As if I was normally there, but subject to occasionally losing the head. False. I am never here. Something... Hey, Billy. <laughs> Hey, welcome here. Where's the fucking door? Naked lunch. This should be called Naked Lunch. Sneak in. Look, it looks shit. This should be called Naked Lunch. The bathroom is upstairs. The yellow toothbrush is yours. Sorry, what's yellow? Do you know what's blue? Yes. And what's green? Yes. But I don't know what yellow is. I live in a mirror, like the sky. I still don't understand what I want to tell myself. A cry and a laugh.
the owner of Bar Parade and one of my best friends in Tangiers, Jay Hazelwood, died suddenly of a heart attack on Christmas Day. My life was confused, big time, great time. And it's just impossible for me to write about it. It saddens me to never know courage. And the unalterable nature of fear saddens me. Closer to the sun and farther from the heart. I suppose I was a little crazy and I had printed. One summer morning, Jane entered Claridge Cafe. She was carrying a bag in which she said all her problems were to be found. Emilio invited her to open it and taking the bag he shook it upside down onto the improvised tablecloth tumbled out the following elements. A key 
a dead sparrow, a broken mirror, a comb and lentils, a lot of lentils. After a certain point, there is no possible return. That's the point you can reach. I'll get a telegram from the clinic asking me to go immediately to Malaga. The following morning, I'll be taking the 7 a.m. ferry for Algeciras, and I'll get into Malaga at midday. In the clinic, I'll find Jane unconscious after another brain hemorrhage. I'll spend the evening with her, and I'll make my way back to the hotel very late. At nine, I'll call the mother superior. Jane will have died. There were so many things I wanted to say to you before you left, and now I'll never say them. Although the sun floods the terrace, forming the same shadows in the very same places. Only I see them, only I hear the wind, and it's too strong. The world is burning with words. Forgive me, I love you, but I shouldn't think of you. I've nearly finished a sequel to The Naked Lunch, a mathematical extension of the algebra of necessity beyond the virus of drugs. While there are many kinds of addiction, I think they all obey certain elementary laws. In Heidelberg's words, perhaps this may not be the best of possible universes, but it is very probable that it is one of the simplest if man manages to see it. Postscript, wouldn't you? form a tempest together. You are the frenzied wind, I am the tranquil sea. You arrive and blow with irritation. I get agitated, turn stormy and burst into foam. And there's the perfect storm. But between you and me, there's a difference. I, like the sea, never leave my place. And you, like the wind, are never in yours.